Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Three shot in jewelry store heist. Police seek kidnap slayer. No matter how often I see headlines like these, I get a shock. I think to myself, how can any human being commit an act of senseless violence? I have found that psychologists are trying to find the answer to that question. They have studied thousands of criminals and delinquents in an attempt to better understand and recognize the potentially violent person. They have found certain characteristics common to this kind of personality. Pent-up rage, a sense of alienation, constant feelings of frustration, and habitual aggressive behavior. How do such characteristics develop in a person? That's the subject of the story I'm going to tell you tonight. The story of Joey. Joey's parents never really wanted a child. From the first, his mother didn't know what to do with this demanding little intruder. Often when he cried in his crib, she shut the door and turned up the TV, determined that no baby was going to control her life. Joey can remember when he was about three, running in tears to his father with some little childhood hurt. His father, annoyed at the interruption, told him not to be such a crybaby. When Joey persisted in his appeal for sympathy, his father lost his temper, shouted at him, and pushed him away. Joey couldn't understand what he'd done to so upset his father. His life was filled with such bewildering incidents of rejection. He wanted to please his parents, but it was as if his very existence was a source of irritation to them. It seemed there was nothing he could do to win their acceptance. The only time they really noticed him was when he was punished. Then his father would tower over him in a rage. The ultimate authority with the power to punish. Punish without question. Punish without appeal. Anger awoke inside Joey and became his constant companion. Anger at the injustices of his parents. Anger at his own helplessness to influence them. But he had to suppress that anger. For if he ever expressed it, then the punishment was even harsher. The only outlet Joey had for all this anger was on the other children in the neighborhood. Joey was indifferent to their feelings. His own emotions had been ignored, so he never learned to care about the emotions of others. Soon the other kids were avoiding him. Joey had alienated himself, but he didn't know that. All he knew was that he was alone, utterly and completely alone. He became obsessed with survival. He'd watch his parents closely, trying to see how they had managed to survive. Their hostile attitudes and aggressive behavior became his models for survival. And the knowledge that it was that behavior in him that they punished so harshly convinced him they didn't want him to survive. And his anger deepened. It was at school that Joey practiced his survival behavior. It won him the animosity of the teachers, and he was always in trouble. So, Joey said to himself, these adults don't want me to survive either. He desperately wanted to make friends, but he never developed a bond of sympathy with others that is the cornerstone of socialization. The only acceptance he could find was among those of his peers who shared his suspicious and hostile attitudes. But that acceptance became very important to him. He would do anything to win the approval of his gang. If they wanted toughness, he'd be tougher than anybody else. If they valued rebelliousness, he'd be more of a rebel than anyone else. And when that toughness and rebelliousness was punished by the adult authorities in a way that to you and I would seem quite appropriate, to Joey... It seemed like just another assault on his attempts to survive. It was mostly as a gesture of defiance that Joey started snatching purses. It was his way of saying, you're trying to keep me down, but look at me, I'm surviving. As for his victims, well, why should he care about them? They were only part of this world that was united against him. It was only a matter of time before Joey got his hands on a gun. And then something happened inside him. With a gun in his hands, 
He wasn't helpless anymore. With a gun in his hand, he had the power to punish. Punish without question. Punish without appeal. Now it was safe to let all that rage out. And one night in a dark alley, it came out. He held his gun into the face of an old man and pulled the trigger. And Joey became a headline in the morning edition. And we read about him. Sitting in our easy chairs in our cozy living rooms, we read about him. And we said to ourselves... How can any human being commit an act of senseless violence? But what do we know of rage? Blind, undirected rage. Rage is a constant companion. Rage that eats away at human decency like a vociferous worm. What do we know of frustration? The frustration of the crying baby no one hears. The frustration of the hurt child that runs for help and receives a kick. What do we know of alienation? To feel so utterly and completely cut off from the rest of humanity that the face of every stranger is the face of an enemy. The next time you see one of these headlines, remember Joey's story. Remember he wasn't born violent. He wasn't born full of hate. He learned them. And his teachers were abuse and indifference. Remember that when Joey was born, he had within him the same capacity for love as our own precious children. When you realize that, you see the real tragedy of Joey's story. When you realize that, you see the ray of hope for all the future Joey's.